Okay, so here's the deal. I get really impatient when I want a haircut. Usually it's just my fringe because like my hair grows fast. So I cut it myself and like to be honest, it doesn't look half bad. Like what I was going for was like a Jane Birkin, Alexa Chung-esque parted like fringe in the middle for like a 70s vibe since it's summer now. And like I'm still trying to work out if that was the worst decision of my life. I made worse decisions. Hello, I didn't upload last week and I know I'm not the type of person to be like, hey, listen, I didn't upload last week and I realized that you all have noticed and are worried about me. Like, no, I I'm not like that. But personally, I wanted to tell you why I didn't upload, even though like I realize that most of you probably don't realize. <sighs> so I realized that this right here is my 100th video on YouTube. This is how we do it. Not on YouTube because I have another ch I have like two other channels but this is the one I use now so I've made like probably like not even joking 250 videos tops in my life that I went on YouTube but um this is my 100th video on this channel and I was just kind of struck with the fact that it has taken me so many videos to make to actually feel like oh I like my style and I found my style and this is what I want to make, this is my aesthetic, you know? I feel like aesthetic is something rich people have because like I can't afford half the shit I want or like want to wear so like my aesthetic is like starving author. You like it? But yeah so it was my 100th video and I didn't just want to make like a stupid video, I wanted to make something that sort of to me would signify like I feel like I've came really far in like video making. I started making this video um, and I really love it like I'm really excited about it but it wasn't finished for Thursday and then it's not gonna be finished for this Thursday and then on top of that I'm also working on something else right now which <sighs> Basically, I'm making like episodes and I want them to be like 15 to 20 minutes each and I want them to have a lot of work in them, not just me obviously sitting down talking to a camera for 20 minutes. I want them to have a lot of footage, a lot of editing in them. I want them to be really interesting. They're about things that matter to me. Like the first one is about something really personal in my life that I like struggle with every day and I just want to talk about it. And so I'm making that. I'm writing at this now, but really I'm working on such a big project because I feel like I want to be constantly working on projects. I want to be constantly doing art um, and making something big is a good way to do that because it means that I'm doing little sections every day. But the problem is that I really love uploading every week. I really love getting to the end of the week and knowing that I have something to upload. I really like that. It makes sure that I'm like doing stuff every week. You know, I like having a deadline for something I love doing every week. So I'm like struggling with wanting to make better content but also not having enough time because you might be sitting there thinking a week's more than enough time especially since I'm on summer holiday now and whatever but um I upload on Friday night and then I see Andrew Friday night to Saturday. I see him on Saturday as well and then on Sunday I have roller derby and then I see Alex and then on Monday that's when I start making my videos. Monday and Tuesday I film, Wednesday is when I edit it and Thursday is when it's rendering so it's ready for Friday because I'm doing stuff dur during those days so yeah it's not really a week when it comes down to it. I just wanted to tell you that if I'm ever not here please don't assume that it's because I don't care about this channel because I really do. It's not even like, oh, I really care about YouTube. It's more that I love making videos. This is what really annoys me when people are like, I really want to make YouTube videos. I want to make YouTube videos so bad. It's like, no, because if you did want to make them so bad, you would make them. I was making videos like even before I knew YouTube existed. I would make like stupid videos on my phone when I was like really young. Like little skits and things that I would edit together. I've just always loved editing things together and seeing how they turn out. It's just like, it's such a passion of mine. And even if YouTube goes away, like I'm still gonna be making videos. I just love making videos, you know? I, I, I want to make films. I call myself a filmmaker, yikes. So never just think, that to me YouTube is a hobby because it's not like honestly like I feel like a hobby is something you do because you like it. I feel like I make videos because I not because I have to but almost because I can't see myself doing anything else and like I don't want to do anything like obviously there's other things like doing but like filmmaking to me is just like the best it's the funnest thing but yeah <laughs> look out for bigger things I'm working on and I'll give you updates on them of course I'm just really excited to be doing something bigger. Other quick update for you, I started roller derby, which is crazy, but I'm really excited about it. Also, Alex was training to play roller derby, but when me and Alex get together, we 
<laughs> me and Alice always find ourselves in like such like doing such weird things like honestly so it was like the third third or fourth session of roller derby training and she broke her leg and it's not funny at all it was really scary and it was just like holy shit but because she was in shock she was like laughing so I was like oh it's all right so I was like laughing too and then we got home and her mum was like stop laughing this isn't funny and we we're like ah so now it's me on my own which is scary so I'm not the best at roller derby. I'd even be so generous as to say I'm the worst. But I'm not, for the first time in my life, like I'm not embarrassed about it. Um, even when like everybody there is so much better than me, I'm, I'm not scared. Like, and I'm not embarrassed because it's such a supportive environment that I'm like, I'll get there and that's fine. But also I keep like saying to people, yeah, like I do roller derby now and they just sort of look at me and, and like, I know I'm tiny. I'm small with an O. Small. And I'm like stereotypically very girly. I sleep with like 50 soft animals. I realise that and I feel like people keep looking at me and being like, you do realise that derby is like a contact sport? And I'm like, yes, I understand. And to that I say, have you ever seen Sailor Min? Serena, the one with the meatball hair. Meatball head! She cries at everything. She struggles with everything. And she's like very stereotypically girly. But when it comes to it, she's the strongest and she can fight. So that's what I'm hoping. I should probably get a Sailor Moon sticker for my helmet since I'm like now channeling Serena's essence. To sum up this video, I cut my own hair. <laughs> Two, if I'm gone, it's not because I don't care about YouTube. I'm always gonna be making videos, so. Yeah, but I'll try my best to be around on Fridays, even if it's just a little video. Three, I'm working on something that I'm very excited about. And four, I'm doing roller derby now, so. That's cool. Pray for me. Who's that girl? Who's that? It's Jess. It's me. Surprise. If you want to be my friend, be my friend. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. Or do both. Be my friend and subscribe. That's actually preferable. Prefer. That's what I want. <laughs> okay.